So back in your pre-algebra days, ladies and gentlemen, we talked about adding fractions. And when we're adding fractions, we have to remember there's one thing that we have to have. For any time we're adding and subtracting, we have to find um, common denominators. If the denominators are not the same, we cannot combine the fractions. So the best thing I like to do is look at my two denominators and determine what my LCD is, my least common denominator. The least common denominator is the smallest number that both of your denominators divide into. So we look at 3 and 4, and we say, what's the smallest number that 3 and 4 both divide into? And that number is 12. All right? So now what we need to do is get our denominators both to be 12. Well, to get 4 to be 12, we'd multiply by 3. And to get 3 to be 12, we'd multiply by 4. Right? However, we're, we want to produce what we call equivalent fractions. So we're just not going to multiply our denominators. We have to multiply the top and the bottom. Now, this is the same thing for subtraction, so I'm going to do that as well. I'm going to do the same thing. All right, so now, by doing that, I now obtain uh, sorry, 9 over 12 plus 8 over 12, and 9 over 12 minus 8 over 12. Does everybody see how I got those values? OK, so now you just apply the operation. Since you have a common denominator, you leave that. And you uh, just apply your operation to the numerators. So by adding, I get a final answer of 17 over 12. By subtracting, I get a final answer of 1 over 12. Okay. For multiplication, it's pretty simple. All we need to do for multiplication is multiply numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. Do not do cross multiplication. Did you guys notice in that last problem, that proportion, I didn't say cross <coughs> multiplication? You guys notice that? You guys notice? Because a lot of you would probably say, oh, I was going to say cross multiplication. Get cross multiplication out of your head. All we need to do is just multiply straight across. We're not applying, I hate cross multiplication. Just understand that you can apply the cross product, or I could show you how to do a proportion without cross multiplication. But here, you're not doing any cross multiplication. You're just multiplying across. 6 over 12, and then we always want to reduce our fractions. So that would be 1 half. OK? Let me ask you a question. 8 divided by 2. Mackenzie, 8 divided by 2, what is that? 4. Very good. Now, Juliana, 8 times 1 half is what? 4. Hmm. Interesting, right? So if you divide by a number, Multiplying by that number's reciprocal gives you the same answer. You guys agree with me? No? Yes. So dividing by a number or multiplying by a reciprocal is the same thing. So would that make sense to also say dividing is the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal? You went backwards? Yeah. Right? So instead of dividing by 2 thirds, a easier operation would be instead of dividing by one half we could we could I'm sorry instead of you know instead of dividing by two-thirds we could multiply by its reciprocal so when you have division you can change it to a multiplication problem and then you can multiply across and done so when you're doing division you just you reciprocate the divisor and then multiply 